We start again. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this morning's Walk of Fame ceremony, which is presented by the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce and the Hollywood Historic Trust. I'm LaRon Gubler, President and CEO of the Hollywood Chamber, and your MC today. We are delighted today to honor one of the music world's most prolific songwriters whose memorable, memorable songs are ingrained in all of our hearts. Today we present the 2,486 star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame, the Carol King. All right, Carol, I'm going to tell just a little bit about your, some of your accomplishments. We could spend all day, there are so many, but I'm going to tell just a few for our audience. Singer, songwriter. Carol King was born in Manhattan and raised in Brooklyn. We have a few New Yorkers here. Her amazing musical gift was apparent from the time she was a toddler. Already an accomplished pianist, by the time she turned 10, Carol began writing a multitude of songs by her early teens. She wrote her first number one hit at the tender age of 17, Penning, Will You Love Me Tomorrow, for the Shirelles with then husband Jerry Goffin. The dozens of chart hits they wrote have become a part of music legend. It was 1971's Tapestry that, that took her to the pinnacle. It spoke personally to every one of her contemporaries and provided the spiritual music backdrop for the decade. In a first for a female writer, artist, and artist, Tapestry won all three of the key Grammy Awards, Record, Song, and Album of the Year, as well as Best Female Vocalist Honors for Carol. And get this, with more than 25 million units sold, Tapestry remained the best-selling album by a female artist for a quarter of a century. Now, Carol, I understand you went on to amass an additional three plat other platinum awards and seven gold albums. And while Carol was in the studio recording Tapestry, her friend James Taylor recorded her You've Got a Friend taking the song all the way to number one. Carol was nominated for an Emmy Award in 2000 for Song of Freedom. And at the end of the 20th century, Carol was named one of the 100 most important women in rock by VH1 and was included on virtually everyone's list of the most important artists, women, songs, and albums of rock and roll. Why an achievement. Her other awards include induction into the Songwriters Hall of Fame as well as a Lifetime Achievement Award with Jerry. They were also inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and honored with the Grammy Trustees Award. The crowning glory of Carol's last half decade was this past April with the publication of her memoir, A Natural Woman. And get this, it debuted on the New York Times bestseller list at number six and prompted Vanity Fair to say, America is having a Carol King moment. As a companion to Carol's life story, Concord Hear Music released the legendary demos with 13 previously unreleased demo recordings. And that featured some of her most celebrated songs from the 60s and 70s. Now today, and this is extremely impressive, in excess of 400 of her compositions have been recorded by more than 1,000 artists, Woo! resulting in 100 hit singles. Carol King is without question the most successful and revered female songwriter in pop music history. Yeah. But there's more. In addition to her continuously evolving musical career, Carol, who has lived on an Idaho ranch since the early 80s, is actively involved with the environmental organization in support of forest wilderness preservation. And Tomorrow, Carol will join a host of celebrities as they perform at a star-studded event being billed as You've Got a Friend, a celebration of Carol King and her music to benefit Paul Newman's The Painted Turtle Camp. The event, yes. the event is being co-hosted by Quincy Jones and Jack Nicholson, 
and the magical evening of performances will be held right across the street at Hollywood's Dolby Theater. And it's being produced by Lou Adler and Kevin Duncan. So, please acknowledge our honoree, Carol King. Now, Carol, everyone wants to hear you. But before they get to hear from you, we have a few special guests. So, if you'd step right up here, there to, I'm going to bring up uh, our first special guest today, who is an Emmy and Tony Award winner and Oklahoma Hall of Fame inductee. She effortlessly transitions between stage, television, and film with the captivating grace that only she can project. You have seen her on the ABC series, Pushing Daisies, Glee, The West Wing, and as a guest judge on American Idol. Many remember her Tony Award winning, show-stealing performance in You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, as well as her triumphant star turn when she originated the role of Linda the Good Witch in Wicked, which earned her a leading actress Tony Award nomination. Please welcome the lovely Kristen Chenoweth. Oh gosh, I'm so glad I can see over this because I have a lot to say about you. A year and a 